Hello! Today I'm going to walk you through Apple's Pages. It's a word processing tool that's built into your Mac as part of the iWork suite. In Pages, you can create documents that are simply typewritten paragraphs, have pictures, have different shapes, or even add tables. It depends on which kind of document you're looking to create. Today we're going to use something called a newsletter template to create a newsletter about ourselves. I'd like to show you some of the different templates before we get into the newsletter template. This is the blank template that we'll probably use most often. When you double click that or click choose down here, either one works, you'll get a blank page which will look like this and you can use this to type in the space. I can use that space to type my work and I can create my document, but that's not what I want to do today. I'm going to go ahead and delete these and let's get back to the template chooser. I did that by pressing command, holding that down and pressing the letter N. That's the command for a new document. So I'm back at the template gallery and I've got lots of different templates that I can choose from. Here are some for a report. Here are some where I might make a poster. Um, I have others where I can make a card. Or the one we're going to use today is newsletter. I'm going to choose simple newsletter so I'll double click that. Give pages a second and it comes and gives me this already kind of pre-configured newsletter where I can add my own images, add my own text, um, add, add my own information in here. So what I have to do today is create a newsletter about myself. So instead of today's news here, I'm going to put my name. I want you to watch this side pane to see what happens when I go ahead and highlight that. So I'll double click to highlight that. And did you notice that on the side it went from nothing selected here to this text where I have the title already selected, the font size is here, and I can go ahead and change that variety of, of uh, options that I have. I'm just going to go ahead and type my name. Oh, and that didn't fit so well, so I'll actually change it to mister there we go that fits really well if it didn't fit still I could go ahead and highlight that and over here just make the text smaller or I'm gonna set it back to the correct size bigger if I click off of that you go ahead and see that this is changed to body because I'm now selected in the body of the text right here and I can go ahead and highlight that again and here is where I would write everything that I want my audience to know about myself. Now something that's really important is for me to send my message to my audience. I want to be really clear in what I'm writing and I'm going to go ahead and also send my message with the font that I've chosen. Right now I have selected Helvetica New. I could choose from any of these fonts on the side. The font allows me to send a message about who I am without really having to type many more words than what I've already typed here. If I pick this giddy up, that might send the message that I'm kind of a frilly person. If I pick something like um, this din alternate, that sends a more serious message. I could go and find something like chalkboard to send the message about myself that, hey, I'm a teacher. Uh, and I'm going to find the text style font called Futura. I think that's both a little bit serious and a little bit fun. So I'm going to use that one because I think I can have fun while still getting serious work done. And now I can go ahead and type all the rest of the things in that space about myself that I need to tell my audience while displaying the message about who I am using the font that I've chosen. I can also place an image in here. Right now it's this placeholder image of this really nice looking kitchen, but that's not a picture of me. Notice when I click on the picture of the kitchen, the, the menu on the side here changes again. So I'll click back in the text, I've got body, click on the image, 
I've got these three style, image, and arrange. Well, I don't really need to use any of those. I'm actually going to replace this image. So I'm going to go ahead and pick Photo Booth. I'm going to take a picture of myself here really quickly using Photo Booth and the camera that's on my computer. So once Photo Booth opens, I can see myself in my pane here. Hey, and I can press this red camera button to go ahead and take a picture of myself that conveys a message about me. I don't want this to be a goofy picture. I want it to be a nice smiling picture. So I'm going to sit here. That looks good. And there's my picture of myself. Hey, yeah, that looks good. Now what I can do is select this picture down here and go ahead and just drag it into its space. Notice the blue line around the outside of the picture. Once I let this go, it'll be my picture instead. Hey, there I am. I look pretty good. And I'm going to write um, what I want my subheading to be here. Stem at Paradise and Salisbury Elementary. And again, notice that the text style changed over here. So I would go through and repeat that process the whole way through this template that they've placed in front of me as this simple newsletter. So as you can see in pages, I can use the dynamic menus on the side to see what I've selected. I can drag and drop things like photos or shapes into place to replace already existing images or I could add new photos in there and it's a great word processing tool as well. Thank you for watching and now it's your turn to create your own self-portrait newsletter.